<laughs> there we go. We're getting ready for you on air, right? You know, Dan, our stage manager, is a perfectionist. Yes. He always wants to get things in place. So there you go. Well, of course, you are watching Arise and Shine. And if you're looking for entertainment, we've got it wrapped up in one fine package. Mm. Rather Blank is an yes. award-winning playwright who emcees her own show and infuses her love for hip-hop into comedy, playing to soul out crowds. I'm going to yeah. be there. I'm going to yeah, be there. Know. We're so thrilled <laughs> to have you here with us. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're stunning, by the way. Thank Get you. Eyes. <clears throat> All right. Oh Snatch. Can, can oh. we do oh. 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 I have a question for you guys. Uh -huh. Is that bacon's on yet? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it okay. is. It is. <laughs> it was good. It smells good in here. <laughs> bacon is good. Yeah, can, when you It'll be done in like an hour. Huh? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> no, thanks for having me. And I want to shout out your makeup artist here, Shalia, oh, yeah? for not trying to contour my nose, oh. okay? <laughs> this is my nose. From this yeah. angle, yeah. from oh, this yeah. angle, uh -huh. it's a black nose. Thank yeah. you, Shalia. <laughs> thanks point. so much. So, tell us about the name, Rada Blank. How did you come up with that? Um, well, my parents were hippies. <laughs> and no, actually, it's it's my name. It's not a stage name. My great great grandfather was a Sephardic Jew who settled in Trinidad, and my mom was maybe eight months pregnant, and she still hadn't come up with a name for me. So she was watching a news story about this baby elephant coming over from India named Rada, and baby elephant yeah. probably explains why I always have an extra fifty pounds. But um, <laughs> she just thought that would be a perfect name for me, and it's yeah. it's I'm, I used to hate the name as a kid because I got teased a lot, but now it's a name. People remember. It's very Indian because I know a it couple is. of Indian people in South Africa named Radha. So yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So did you grow up in a family full of entertainers? I, it, it seems like you did. You know? <laughs> I did. I did. I don't think I mean, this just popped out of anywhere. They put the struggling and starving and starving artists, but you know, I mean, okay. So I know what government cheese and powdered milk <laughs> is, but at the same time, I know like who T. S. Monk is. Who I, I, yeah. it was a oh, pleasure gosh, to meet yes. him. So there was like a a great amount of wealth in our family. We didn't have a lot of mm -hmm. money, but we were rich in, mm -hmm. in, in you know, in culture, they were encouraged right, us to yeah, perform yeah. and entertain and exp express ourselves. So, yeah. Right. yeah. Now, you're multi-talented. You write you know, you're into music, comedy. I make bacon. Come you on. make bacon, you make some good bacon, yes. and I'm sure. You know, what do you define yourself as? Um, I, at this time, at this age, uh, t over 20 years of creating work, I just prefer to call myself an artist because I find that there are few limitations around that. Like, I used to call myself a rapper, I used to call myself a comedian because I, you know, I kind of experimented with my voice as a writer and artist just seems to fit because now it's just about being true to whatever you know, way the work comes out and however it manifests. There's no limitation around, okay. you know, what it is yeah. I create. One second. You said rapper? Yes, yeah, so I'm an MC, okay. a 41 year old MC. Okay, princess. so uh, I'm sure you got a rap name or something then, huh? Yes, I call myself Rodimus Prime. Oh, <laughs> I love damn. it. Shout out to all my Transformers fans. I grew fans up out there. watching Transformers. Okay, well, Rodimus Prime, like, you know, honestly, when I thought, what will I call myself when I enter the stage as an MC? Um, that name popped into my head, and I thought I invented it. And then I went back and watched the Transformers. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. no. There was a Rodimus Prime who was like the second coming of Optimus. So, yeah. mm. um, but I spell it R A D H A M U S P R I M E. So I need to hear you spit. Yeah. I need to hear you spit, baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you 25, I am not. You very, very young. I got two age spots, but you got a crotch, and I got a crotch, and you the one with stamina for giving. Back shots. Can oh, I say that? Oh my. Yeah, oh, you right. can. You Look can. Look at Nikki. Oh, Come on, <laughs> Nick. Look, I'm done. I'm done. We need an AR &R up in here. We, do. we need it. Why aren't you signed? We actually have a clip of this, so let oh. us check it out. <laughs> clip. Yeah? Rodimus Prize rhymes. Why? Most hip hop got me feeling so much older, yo. When the this loudest song going be over. Yeah, I tried to dance hard, but my knees straight caught me. Cause yo, this is 40. This is 40. All right. Wow. I, I've never been bleeped before. I feel so honored. 
<laughs> Thank you, Arise. You have, you have officially made it. You have I've officially made it. Made it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, who is Rodimus Prime? Well, Rodimus Prime is my hip hop alter ego. Um, Again, I'm I'm 40 years old. I'm 41 years old. Okay. Come on. Um, but Looking I've never. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm moisturized. I'm moisturized. I have never. Um, my love for hip hop has never waned. Even with you know when hip hop has gone through all of its different incarnations, I, it's never waned. And this has given me an opportunity to still insert like you know my voice into the game of hip hop. And mm. so one of the questions I ask my audience is like, where is the overweight, single, horny, 40-year-old black woman's voice in hip-hop, right here, yo. Um, so it's a way to insert a mature point of view. I mean, a lot of the stuff is self-deprecating, but it's like if Louis C.K. was black, uh, pre-diabetic, female, mm -hmm. um, then he might be Rodimus Prime. Yeah. So wow. I bring, like, a very comical sentiment to it. But I I'm spitting it. bars. Like, I'm not... It's not nursery rhymes. Like, right. I take it very seriously. Right. Yeah. And you're also one of the new uh, writers with... Uh, what, what's the project that you're working on? Oh, it's called The Get Down. Okay. It's a new series for Netflix. Uh, it comes from nice. the brain of Baz Luhrmann, who's an amazing director. And uh, it's something that's been in his head for a long time. Um, but now he's decided to bring this... To work in on the small screen, but there's nothing small about this show. Yeah. I'm, I just have to say, and I have to commend you, because to have, you know, African-American woman being a writer, especially yeah. with Netflix, this, you know, that's a big thing. Well, so. I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a tribute or it's a sign of how important it was to Baz and the creators of the show to make sure there were authentic voices, mm -hmm. that there were people in the room who looked and sound like the characters. So a lot of the, it's probably one of the most diverse writing rooms in yeah, Hollywood lovely. or in New York, and um, there are people who've lived through the hip hop experience, the people who are former graffiti artists mm -hmm. and MCs like myself, New Yorkers, and. Um, um, I'm really excited to participate in this project. It comes out next year on Netflix. And can't it, wait. I, yeah. I definitely can't wait. I'm really excited. Yeah. Thank It'll you be, so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Can you do me one favor? Yeah. Can you say twerk? Twerk? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why? What? He I makes thinking? everything sound so sexy. Twerk. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, too. I love you, too. I love you. I love you too. Dang, I don't right. feel no love Well, you. don't no, forget to check out. <laughs> Snatch for the God. Oh, yeah. You're going to take over the show. Don't forget to check her out at Joe's Pub in NYC on Feb 18th and follow Rodimus Prime on Twitter. That's at Rada, M-U-S, Prime. Yes, and when we return, do we have a backup moves uh, to back up Beyonce? I hope so. I hope so. We'll, we'll see. One, <laughs> one of the Queen's main dancers will put us to the test. Oh, I can't man. wait. Sean, I sure can't scared. wait. I'm You're watching the Rise and Shine. I can't wait. Twerk, twerk, twerk.